Africa has been one of my favorite humanities courses here, here at NCSSM. When there's this huge uh, misconception that Africa doesn't have a real history, when in fact when you take the course you find that to be a fallacy. Africa has the longest history in the world, I mean it's the birthplace of human civilization and the human species. And uh, when, when I took the course in Africa I learned a lot of stuff that they actually don't teach you in the history books. And we went a lot, uh, a lot in depth about different topics and I learned a lot. Africa was a very great course. Um, I really enjoyed it. And I really enjoyed it because we got to do a lot of the cultural activities that you hear about in a course like this. It wasn't just all history. We got a chance to write Javas and actually practice click languages, um, especially from people of the Kosa. And we also got to go to an African restaurant, which was very cool. I would say Africa was a really good class to take and it was definitely worth my time. Um, you learn a lot of material and subject matter that otherwise you wouldn't ever receive any exposure to. Um, you learn a lot about the origins of humanity which is really something that interests me. As like a person who has a really strong interest in biology, that, that's, that's something that really kind of caught my interest. Yeah, same goes for me. I took Africa just because it was a senior English and it was one of my free blocks. But it ended up being so interesting because it's something you never really learn about completely. So, And I know one thing that everyone always says about Africa is that they don't want to do reading journals. <laughs> but I promise they're not that bad. Like, I actually kind of enjoyed them. Like, oh wow, that sounds so crazy. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, I kind of enjoyed reading journals. Like, like they, they can be a little time consuming sometimes, yes, but they really help you to really grasp your reading and understand what you're talking about in a much deeper way than any other type of method I've used. I remember one we did about heavy metal and its oh impact God, on his law. I that liked was that a fun one. one. That was really fun. So. It was about it was, it was about um like the heavy metal scene in Egypt. That that was <laughs> <laughs> that's not something that like I would really like coming into the course. That's definitely not something I would have thought I would be learning about, but it it is, and it was really a value. So, Africa. The reason I wanted to take it is because, well, I really fell in love with ancient Egypt, ancient Egyptian history. I always thought it was really interesting and really entertaining, and I thought it was really cool, and I watched The Mummy like 5,000 times. I knew this was the last time that I'd be able to take an African history or a literature class. And it's really amazing. I learned that 
there's a lot more diversity diversity in Africa than I thought there was and there's an actual history in Africa like a lot of people kind of think that they're still in the same place they were years ago and truthfully it's not there are a lot of places that are very um, uh, advanced and so that was my favorite part and it was also fun when we did our congas those were fun we got to draw pictures you get to draw pictures in Africa have fun Is a mobile yes a afokan besta go Learning everything there is to know about Africa from the rise of human beings to Egypt to all the different culture groups and even modern events taught me so much about Africa and I am much more knowledgeable about the continent now. Uh, last year as a junior, I took Africa 2, my third trimester, and I really enjoyed it. We got to do a lot of really cool creative writing, um, papers for Miss Blaine. Uh, Africa was the best class I've ever taken because my writing is now 500% better. But the reason I took Africa was for Dr. Fenn and Miss Blaine. They were an awesome pair together. You walk in and they know your name, they know exactly who you are and what kind of reading you do and how you're going to interact, or interact during class. And if you listen to all the lectures, they've got all these little inside jokes with you and like sometimes about you and just how you act during class. And they're like, hey, wake up, even though you're the most attentive person. And I love their humor and they just brought all the stories to life. And I remember one of my most favorite assignments that I really enjoyed was doing an Injala. And I'll read the one that I prepared in class, and Dr. Fenn will explain what an Injala is. Now I'm going to tell you a story about how I caught a sloth. This summer, I was working in the Living Conservatory in the Science Museum in Raleigh. I had to survive the miserable, excruciating conditions of 90 degrees, 85% humidity indoors every Saturday and Sunday of my entire summer before senior year. In this conservatory lived a great sloth, whose name was THE Sloth, because there's no other sloth in North Carolina. One day, this magnificent beast escaped into the museum. I had to embark on an arduous trek in order to save the sloth from the violent and crazy soccer moms chaperoning tour groups in the museum. I set out after he who's not a primate but more closely related to anteaters with my net and tranquilizer in hand. I located the sloth. He had stopped to fraternize with the Acrocanthosaurus. This was my big chance. I pulled out my tranquilizer gun and studied it with my left arm. My main shooting arm had been injured in the previous week during a turtle casualty. Using only one arm, I was able to successfully incapacitate the estranged beast. I returned with my volunteer apron bearing the battle scars. That is my story. Now you know when you see me that I am the Sloth Wrangler. You. You listen but you do not hear. You speak without being spoken to. Your gossip flitters and floats around with no cares for the truth. You know my stories, but you don't see my soul. So if you can't find me, stop and listen. For my voice is the voice that flows through your ears. Did you want to know about me? Haven't you already heard? I'm the bad one. The unfortunate one. Run and hide. Please. But if you hear, I will tell you a story. And if you listen, I will show you my soul. I've made it to other countries before you even left this state. But let me tell you, my age is just a number. Life is the longest and the shortest thing you can ever experience. The dullness in your life will fade you into the shadows of insignificance. Perhaps my stories are merely fireworks, lighting up the black hole of despair where you have been as brave. Go be brave. Rest is for the dead. 
So take what I have, take these words and shape them poorly. Report back to your people and shout about my life. But if you heard, I told you a story. And if you listen, I showed you my soul.